The next-gen PlayStation and Xbox consoles have been heavily talked about since their releases last year. Some primarily asked questions are, which one should I get and which one is better? In this video, I will be giving you more information about the PS5 and Xbox Series X, and I will hopefully help you decide which one is best for you. Let's begin by talking about their appearances. I think the PlayStation and Xbox both have really fantastic designs. I just prefer the PlayStation design because it's more futuristic in my opinion. I'm not exactly a fan of the rectangle design approach on the Series X because it kind of reminds me of a speaker. Other than that, I think they were both designed really well. The PlayStation 5 size and overall weight has increased since the last generation. It's a lot heavier than the PlayStation 4 was, but the size doesn't quite matter to me because I'm a huge fan of the design and the internals. No matter how you would like your console to be stationed, Sony has recommended that you use the dock that is included in the PlayStation box. This dock allows you to stand the PlayStation up vertically and also lay it horizontally, and eliminates any risk of tipping over or falling. The Xbox on the other hand, due to the completely flat sides, it will sit perfectly on any surface. It may also fit in more places than the PlayStation would because it's not as big in size. Much like the PlayStation, it also has the ability to sit vertically and lay horizontally. Next, the gaming experience. Both the Xbox and PlayStation have great graphics and both feature 8K compatibility. I couldn't choose a console in particular because both next-gen consoles do a very well job during gameplay. Although the Xbox has a common feature that is typically found in smartphones that allows you to start a new game and come back while resuming your previous gameplay without completely closing an application. I really think this feature should come standard on all future consoles because it's super convenient to not have to relaunch a game that you would like to continue playing. Lastly, let's talk about their controllers. Unlike the Xbox controller, the PlayStation 5 controller has a built-in battery and requires USB to Type-C charging. The console also includes a charger for your controller to use while gaming. The Xbox, similar to previous years, is still unfortunately powered by AA batteries and doesn't have a built-in battery. I hope this video helped you make your decision on the best console for you. Thanks for watching to the end. Please like, comment, and subscribe for future tech content like this. You've just watched the Destin Tech video, and I'll see you in the next video.